Today we will unbox the 80 amp Epiver MPPT charge controller. Now we can see the boxes, it's really big unit, the whole package is about 14 pounds. In the package, the controller is well protected by foam. It has big terminal bottoms and heavy cooling fins. The controller is real MPPT technology inbuilt and able to reach a 99% tracking efficiency. Now is the head. Looks steady. Everything is well built. The lab less here told you the models, current and certifications. We can see it was made in China. The manufacturer is a name brand, released lots of charge controllers and inverters. Famous brand like Renogy, Morningstar also has 80 amp MPPT solar controller, but I think this unit is the most wordy to buy. You will have to pay much more to take a Renogy product, but this one, no more than 500 bucks. We can see it has a very thick cooling fin, it about 12 inch long, black metal material and heavy built, reasonable fin design, the heat generated by the machine can be quickly discharged. The benefits of heavy fins are obvious, makes the machine to perform better. It's time for us to look inside the terminal parts, where we hook the solar panel and batteries to the charge controller. Unscrew the two screws on the left and right to open the lid, the cover is easy remove and reinstall. We can see the inner space now, it has simple and concise layout. Find a label to tell us the plug and port types. Unlike small charge controllers, big controller like ADA has not load terminal, it only has positive and negative connectors for batteries and solar panels connection. Now you see the connectors for the external devices, like the remote monitor and the Bluetooth gadget. Fuses are installed here. Let's look at the entire terminal layout design from the bottom. As per the specifications, it can handle a maximum 4000 watt solar panel input at 48 volt systems. The 80 amp controller is suitable for large off-grid and on-grid solar systems, and you can also install multiple controllers in a large systems. Thanks for watching.